we should be all good in the I'm not gonna hit the wall because too many people are telling me that I hit the wall way too much in these videos. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Queen Faith and for today's video I'm actually going to be doing my makeup, so I'm going to be doing this look right here, and yeah, so hope you guys like the video, and let's just get right into it. Um, I do have my fan on, so if you can hear that, sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start out with priming my face with the Maybelline, that one. I don't use any, like, high-end products at all, I normally just stick to drugstore honestly i just stick to morphe most of the time i use almost like all morphe or maybelline and that's pretty much it so i'm just gonna i also already washed my face and moisturized and my hands are clean so yeah and then i'm just going to moisturize my lips that's one of my biggest pet peeves is like when my lips aren't moisturized at all and they feel kind of like dry. You know when you have to keep like licking your lips and shit? Okay. And then I'm just gonna go right ahead and actually set my primer. Um, I set it with the Maybelline powder, like loose powder. I know a lot of people don't like um, to put powder on before their foundation, but I just do it because my like acne scars that I have it I feel like it tends to cover it up better than just like foundation alone So yeah, I'm gonna powder it It also like takes away the shininess that you have in your face because I'm super oily so it kind of like calms down the oils a little bit by setting the primer that I put down first. I don't do this every day either. I used to do it every day. Just sometimes I'm so busy and I'm like in a hurry trying to do my makeup that I can't take like that extra step. I don't know if you can kind of really see it like this is with powder this is without powder see it just adds like a layer of coverage before the foundation so I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side this is really weird for me like filming a makeup tutorial just because one I don't like posting or like people seeing me without makeup because it's just like a big insecurity of mine and like also it's really weird just like sitting here talking to yourself but yeah i mean you don't have to do this either like i mean i'm not telling you to follow my makeup tutorial i don't know if this is a get ready or a tutorial same thing but yeah if you do this step just make sure the beauty blender is like wet obviously not wet down that way the powder can like seep into your skin into the primer also if I'm looking this way a little bit because I have my mirror right there so yeah sorry so yeah I'm going to now add the foundation so you can either use like I normally use this one the Maybelline matte and poreless or I recently got onto the morphe foundation and I kind of like it I just I don't know there I have like there's two different moods so like this is like when she's going out going out and this is kind of like work everyday thing but it's Friday night so like let's do the Morphe one also sometimes um if I'm like in between moods like if I'm like ready to go out but then like not really ready I'll go in with this like all over my face and then I'll kind of like put this in spots where I feel like I need more coverage so I'm just going to put some of that on. You don't need a lot of this foundation because it's really full coverage. 
so yeah also with that layer of powder you're gonna see that you like this is actually probably too much foundation so yeah let's just put So yeah, um, I'm also going to be filming a Q&A by myself um, without my brother, so it'll be a little bit more like you can ask questions straight, just directed towards me. Um, you can add my Instagram and then DM me on there. I'll put my Instagram down right here. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. You can DM me your questions there, or you can leave a comment down below and tell me what kind of questions you want me to answer. I don't know if I should do, like, uh, just sit and, like, chit-chat Q&A, or do an actual, like, a mukbang Q&A. So, yeah. And then I'm gonna let that set a little bit until I feel like I need maybe, like, another layer. But while that's kind of setting, I am going to go ahead and put my concealer on. So the concealer I've been using is the Maybelline Age Rewind. It looks like that. It has a little like sponge applicator on top. Um, I've just been using that one just because um, I wasn't ready to try the Morphe one for some reason. Um, the other one that's really good is the Wet n Wild. What is this? Photo Focus. Yeah, that one's really good. It's like $3, I think, and it, you get a lot more product. So like in this one, um, me trying to act like I know like measurements. Um, this one was probably like $7 maybe if I'm not mistaken. I'll put the price right here, like what it really was. Um, and you get six milliliters. And then this one is like the one that's like $3 and you get 8.5 milliliters. So I'm not lying. Just trust me. So yeah, um, I'm going to actually go ahead and use my Maybelline one today. So you just kind of, I may have pumped it out too much. So I'm just going to put it on my T-zone, even though it looks like I'm applying it everywhere. Yeah, I'm just going to pretty much put it right here. I'm going to put a little bit on my eyelids just to kind of like waken them up a little bit. Ooh. I'm going to take the bottom of the beauty blender where I used for my foundation and I'm going to blend out my chin and then my, um, what is this? Forehead. Just by, I feel like using the bottom one because you have a little bit of foundation on there, it kind of like blends it out a little bit better so it's not just like bright right in the middle. Also, no, I don't do my eyebrows first anymore. Um, the reason behind that is because I do like to get a little bit messy with my foundation and concealer. And if I was to do my eyebrows first, then I would mess them up. So... Okay, so now that the concealer is all blended, I am going to take now a little bit more of the foundation um, and I'm just going to kind of put it a, a little bit right there, I'm kind of running out, um, a little bit right there, if it'll come out, I don't want it to script, oh, there it goes, just a little bit. For like extra coverage and then this side I don't have too many problem areas I'm just gonna add a little bit more just so that it kind of evened out just like that and then oh this is the morphe beauty sponge by the way so then I'm just gonna tap it with my sponge like this and kind of go back and forth 
like that. See how that's a little bit better? You could go in with um, a brush. I do use a uh, like a big, I guess, kabuki brush. Um, I just felt like using my beauty sponge today. I am gonna go back in with a little bit more concealer also, just because I'm pretty dark under here. Not too much, just a little bit. Just like that. And then quickly blend that out. I also use, um, I do use a brush, a Morphe brush sometimes. This one doesn't have a number because it was in one of the sets. But I use, it's like the small version just because if I want like extra coverage, just because the brush doesn't like soak up so much, I'll use this sometimes. But again, I'm just kind of going in with my sponge right now. Okay, so now that all that stuff is blended, I am going to set my under eyes right away. So I'm going to use the Morphe. I'm going to use the translucent one. No, just the regular transu translucent. There's like a translucent rich or something or translucent, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of different ones. I just use regular. But I'm not going to use that much. I mean, it kind of looks like a lot. But I just kind of will like dip it in the powder right here and then I'll tap it off in the thing and then like do this. That way the excess can come off and then just do this. But I don't like to bake with it. I feel like translucent powders, even though they say translucent, if you leave it on for too long and you don't like blend it out see how like I just set it then it leaves like the white mark under and your under eyes just gonna do that again your under eyes come out like way more light than the rest of your face so I'm just gonna tap it and then blend it out so that way it's set but it's not like sitting there for forever same thing to all the areas that I added concealer. So right here, my chin. And I added it right here on my mouth. Just like that. And then I am gonna add some to my five head that I have up here. Just kidding. I feel like my, I think my forehead is a lot bigger than what it really is. So yeah, just gonna go ahead and do that and make sure to blend out any creasing. So the rest of my face is not set yet. I am gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna make sure I close that and set it aside. So I'm gonna use the same face powder, the Maybelline one. And I'm just gonna add some more, just tap it in the lid. And for this step too, um, I do add a lot of powder, I feel like. So, but the trick to make it look not so cakey, I actually use my sponge to add the powder too. So I'll use the bottom of the sponge again. And again, I'll just tap it into the lid and kind of tap off any excess, but I try to keep it for the coverage. And then I'll just go on the forehead and kind of blend it out blend everything together that way it looks all like together now i'm gonna move on to my eyebrows so again i'm in different moods all the time sometimes i'll go in with just an eyebrow pencil sometimes i'll go in with just like a little bit of pencil and then all powder and then times like these because it's a friday i'm gonna actually go ahead and use the morphe eyebrow gel it is in our brow cream. I'm sorry. Um, it's in the color hazelnut. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do my brows real quick.
eyebrows I look a little crazy because I just have foundation and eyebrows on so I look a little crazy okay so I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow not like a full like look because we don't have time for that so I'm gonna use a eyeshadow palette which you guessed it I'm gonna go in with this shade right here it's like the like skin color type of shade um, and then it's just like with a big brush this is the M504 by Morphe and I'm just gonna put it all over my lid this is just to set down any of the foundation or the concealer that I have on my eyelid just because I don't want it to get all rusty dusty yeah and then I'm gonna take the M535 from Morphe and I'm gonna go in now with that shade selfie and I'm just gonna take a little bit top off the excess and go right into the crease but just blend it through Morphe shadows are really really pigmented so you can go from like a soft easy look to like looking like you got punched in the face within like two seconds so take your time just gonna do this and then I'm gonna take the same shade and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and just blend it through actually go in with the color right below it it's called gold and I'm not gonna take I'm gonna take the same type of brush but not the same brush you get what I mean so I have another m535 somewhere there it is. so I'm just gonna again go in with that shade gold and kind of, I literally am, oh, I'm literally just gonna tap once. And then with a smaller tapered brush, this one is actually the M505. I'm gonna take a darker shade and just deepen the crease a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a little bit of editorial right next to it. I'm gonna go back in with selfie and gold the same color as we did earlier just to go under the lash line to match the top
If you don't make that face, it doesn't come out right. Just saying. The difference between this and this i never used to put anything under my lash line either because i didn't like it and then i did it one time and then never went back it's like you know once you go never mind i won't say that and then i wasn't gonna do a like glitter i was just gonna do like an all matte eye but I'm kind of feeling myself so I'm gonna go in with the Stila, um, what is this? The Glitter and Glow, and it's just the liquid like eyeshadow, eyeshadow, and it looks like this. It's in the color Kitten, and I'm just gonna put it all over the lid. It's so, pr I haven't used this in so long because I had my lash extensions and I didn't want to put anything like this so close to my lashes. I forgot how pretty it was. So... I'm gonna actually take my Morphe, it's the Desi Danger Highlighting Palette, and I'm gonna take the, she has been through it, okay, let me tell you, she been through it. I'm gonna take this shade, just a little bit, like tap into it, so I'm gonna take whatever the heck is left over here in this box, um, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to... Add the highlight right there, and then do the same thing to the other side. And then I'm just going to curl my lashes, put mascara on, and then add my fake lash. Be right back. This is the mini bronzer because it's the only one that's just like in this color by itself. But I don't know how to debutante, 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 whatever. And then I'm gonna take the angle. This is a Morphe E4 brush. And then just this is also super pigmented, so be careful with how much you put because it can go from like contour to like punch on the side of the face like gray shadow in like two seconds and then I'm just gonna do this because I have a really round face it's hard to find my cheekbones 
I got big cheeks. The little cheekbone thing don't really work. So I have to make my own cheekbones. So yeah. See, this is the contour here on this side, and this is no contour. I'm also gonna contour my jaw because y'all have seen my double chin. Don't come for me. I know it's there. We all know it's there. So I'm just gonna. Mm. Do you see the difference? This is like cheekbone and jawline. And this is just like round, just like ball, like circle and that's it. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Now for the real, real fun part. I'm going to add highlight and I'm going to be using my Jeffree Star Siberian Gold. I'm just going to use this little highlighting brush. It's the Morphe R36. Again, all you have to do is just one, two, and then I'm gonna do the same thing just kind of then I'm gonna wet my brush that way it's kind of more a little bit more intense gonna spray using my Morphe setting spray. that's the end of this video of my makeup tutorial slash get ready with me slash I don't know what this is but yeah um leave a comment down below if you like me doing my makeup I can try to do other looks this is kind of like the usual look I always do with like the naturally type of look but yeah let me know make sure you guys like subscribe to my channel if you like to see more videos like this also me acting just a damn fool but yeah thank you so much for watching hope i catch you guys in the next video peace out